Yo, YouTube, what is up? This is the Soul Shredder here, and today we're going to be looking at He's Able, the original artist. I do not know. I don't know who the original artist is. <laughs> this song is pretty, it's, it's, it's an old song. It's a pretty old song. Um, but I figured I'd go over it anyway. I figured it'd be a great song. Plus, this will be like a two part video. So, this is part one. And in part one, I'll be just teaching the song He's Able, just going over the chords and stuff with you guys. Um, the second part, however, is where I'm going to dig into exactly what the the number system is and if you if you heard about it and you haven't quite studied it I'm just going to kind of give you like a a little small crash course on it not going too far in depth in depth but I'm <laughs> in depth okay in depth can't say that but I'm not going to go too much into it I'm just going to um use this song to kind of help you learn the number system if you've been interested in learning it uh, but this video right here is just part one, and then part two will come um, at a later date. Um, probably in a, shouldn't take too long. Probably in a couple weeks I'll have part two up, or earlier, um, depending on how my schedule goes. But yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, so this song is it's in the key of B major. And then it goes up to C major all the way to D major. But we're just going to mainly learn this song in B major. Okay. So, um, let's see. So for the intro, um, once again, I don't know who, who the original artist is for this song. I think it's uh, Dietrich Haddon. I think it is. <laughs> but um, just look it up. Um, like I said, it's a pretty old song. I think he's the original artist, composer. But um, just look it up and double check. Okay, so the intro is actually going to start with um, Exceedingly, abundantly. Those words. But it's going to start with... Um, so what you have here is you have this... Um, uh, G flat major triad but you have an E in the bass so exceedingly then it's going to go to an E major okay and then you go back to the um, G flat major with an E in the bass then back to this E major Okay, now if, you're, if you want to do the walk down notes with it, uh, you can come down here and just walk from, uh, you got to do single notes or you can do a power chord, like you just do E, E, E flat, D flat, B. So, for example, let's see, so the intro, Exceedingly Like that Okay, so once again um, um, The first part of the intro Got the um, G flat major triad With an E in the bass Then it's E major You could choose to walk down from E, or you could just hold this until it gets to the B major. The choice is yours. <laughs> the choice is yours. Okay, but I like to walk down. Now, for, for this intro, I like to just play with my fingers. And then once I really get into the song, I'll switch to my, my guitar pick. <laughs> But for the intro, I thought to use my, my fingers just so I could get this, this E. I could play this E while I'm playing this triad. Okay. Okay, so once again, um, 
Let's do it, Joy. Okay, now for the second part of the intro, instead of doing a G flat major triad with an E in the bass, you're just gonna do a G flat major chord. I'm gonna put that O sharp, that G flat in there. And it's back to E major. And then it's back to the, the triad with the E in the bass. One more time. Major. And then one more walk down. And the song starts right there. Um, the main hook of the song starts right there. Okay, alright, so let's go over the intro again. So it's So that was the intro. Now let's move into the um, the main hook of the song. Um, God is able to do just what He said He would do. Um, so the. So it's okay, so for that part, um. Gonna do a B major and a G flat major and a A flat minor and then E major. Now once again, I'm doing my E major um, right here so I can walk down. You could do E major right here. I just like to walk down, so that's why I do it over here. So once again, God is able to do just what He said He would do. Gonna repeat B major, G flat major, okay. So you do those, um four chords two times, um, B major, G flat major, A flat minor, and E major, walk down, and it is repeated, do that two times, and then after this you're going to walk down again, now on this one, um, you're going to start with a G flat major, now I usually play bar chords, a lot of bar chords in, in my playing, but for this one, I choose only to play the triad, like just three fingers, and my thumb for the bass, only because of the next chord that's coming after it. So, um, so if you play these two chords. <laughs> Major. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. He's able. Okay. So for that for that part that came for the don't give up on God part. On the don't give up on God. Once again, I like to do a G flat major triad with my thumb. On the bass note. So G flat major. 
Okay, now what you're going to do after that is you're going to take um, your pinky and you're going to turn this major into a, a diminished chord. You're going to turn it into a, a G diminished chord. So a G diminished chord. So, so the notes of a G diminished chord, you have G. Okay. Okay. Yeah, G, B flat, and D flat. Mm -hmm. So G, B, B flat, D flat. But um, this G, you're just gonna move it down here. So now the notes are like this. That's a triad. But then you just take your thumb and you're gonna move it instead of it being on a G flat, you're gonna move it up to a G. So from the from, from there, so don't give up on God. It's a diminished chord. Cause he won't A flat minor right here. G flat major. And then E major. And you're gonna freeze. Gonna pause. Then go back to He's Able. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much <laughs> how the whole song goes musically. Let's go over it again. Okay, so once again, the chords you're gonna use for that are B major, G flat major, A flat minor, E major, and don't give up. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Don't give up on God. I remember that's a G diminished chord. Um. G diminished chord. A flat minor. F sharp major. I mean G flat major. E major. Okay. So let's play this song. pretty much the whole song um just just really go over those chords and once again that don't give up on god um if there's another way for you to transition between the g flat major and the g diminished you're more than welcome to do it um i just like to do it this way just play a triad my thumb on the bass and then move my pinky down here and put, move my thumb over to the g it's up to you. Sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole song. Now, like I said, the song does go up to D major. Um, and when they go up, they do the walk down. So let's see. Walk down from the from the four. They walk down from the four. <laughs> so we in B major, so we walk down from the four. You go up to C major, the four would be F. But I, I go over more about the number system in my second video. Like I said, it's just to give you guys like a a little crash course of the number system. If you've been interested in it or have wanted to learn more about it. 
But that's it for this video. Okay, so I actually forgot something. <laughs> so when I go to the O's, the O's, so you're just gonna use the same chords you use for God is able to do just what He said He would do. Um, you're just not gonna go into the uh, these weird chords. I'm not gonna go into those, just gonna keep it as. for watching my video uh, please subscribe for more if you have any comments or suggestions you can leave it down below also any questions you might have thank you so much guys and have a blessed day